Now for our pet of the week, uh, Ryan McTighe joins us from the Michigan Humane Society, and you have with you tartar sauce. I have tartar sauce. We mean sauce. the pet. Is that funny? What a great name. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's really cool. He's a four-month-old <laughs> lab mix puppy. He does have a brother. Oddly, his brother, his name is just Champ. So we don't yeah. know. Tartar sauce happens. and champ. This Tartar fall sauce. on NBC. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy cop show. Exactly. Um, but he's absolutely wonderful. He's uh, you know loves to be around people. You know he's four months old, so he's just learning how to walk on a leash and things like that. So obviously uh, someone who can take their time with them and give them the positive obedience. Look at that, that face. Uh, oh my. He, he needs, but he's gonna be a large dog too, 55 to 80 pounds. So make sure you got the space and the energy to uh, yeah. to deal with a larger dog like that. But he is a big sweetheart. Yeah, puppy lab puppies in particular. We had one. Our dog's name was Sugar, our family dog. She had so much energy as, as a puppy, so you have to be really ready for that. Yeah. Um, hey, cutie. <laughs> so anyways, you guys know that last week we had a pet on the show, and I want to talk about this because it got a lot of response. And I mean, if you missed it, just take a look just to set it up for you guys. So tell us about the pep rally. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Oh, just give it's him a right. pat on the head. Just He's very sweet. Him. Tell us about your pep rally. Yeah, we're very excited about this. It is the Pet Education Education Project's pep rally. Hi, Tati. <laughs> um, it is a free uh, education thing going on next Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, we're oh it's for kids to learn about. <laughs> we, we had to ask what happened to Jerry Lee. Let me say this first. My mom, the first thing she said was, don't I remember my brother's guinea pig? What was wrong with him? But it, I don't know what happened. It was just a moment, momentary break. Hey, but we know you love all the absolutely. animals. And Jerry Lee is fantastic. He got adopted very oh, look at your face oh, after the segment. So, so happy to uh, hear it. And I also probably need a new shirt. I noticed I wore the same shirt last week. Hey, it's all good. <laughs> there you go. But it's a logo good. shirt. It's a logo. Exactly. Yeah. So, Jerry Lee did get adopted, and we're very happy. For Absolutely, Jerry. he's a great, great little guinea pig. You Despite go. your squeamishness, Despite, but I don't know what was. I swear, my mom was like, thought I was crazy. She was like, "Don't you remember your brother's guinea pig?" We'll yeah. do immersion therapy. I'll bring there more guinea go. pigs in as the Thank time you. goes on. So here we are. We we know we're in the heat of the summer. And Absolutely. You can't say this enough about watching out for your pets, right? Yeah, yeah. You really want to make sure that you're taking care of them, not leaving them outside unattended, um, not tying them to a tree or leaving them out where uh, you know maybe in the part of the morning of the day there's some shade, but as as the day moves on, the sun moves, and mm -hmm. they could be stuck outside. You don't want to take them on uh, trips in your car and leave them in your car because even with the windows cracked, that temperature can rise well above 100 degrees, and that can lead to some fatal issues for, for our animals. So just you know, be smart. If it's a condition that you wouldn't want to be left in, don't leave your pet in there either. So uh, don't leave them unsupervised. Bring them in the house. And if you don't have air conditioning, get a fan. Let them lay on the cool floor and, mm -hmm. and uh, give them plenty of water, too. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. This guy Thanks looks like he'd like to be in the water. He looks Absolutely. Like he'd be in there in a minute. Good to see you, Ryan. Good Thanks. to see you. Next on Live.